important person here with me who is very part and person of the leadership of IPOB. And I believe when some of you will hear the voice, some of you, it is only voice you have been hearing for some years, for some decades now. And I believe when some of you will hear the voice, you are going to recognize who is here live with me and direct. So, um, of course, uh, my name remains Onajite. Onajite is from the coastal region of Biafra. He is an uh, Izo and Urobo Biafra. So, um, like I said, I will want you all to encourage other people to join us for the sake of the people who were not here with us last week or the people who did not join us early last week. So I will want you, Sir Mazi, please, I want um, them to hear from the horse's mouth, introduce yourself to our people, let them know who is on the screen, let them know whom we have in the house today. So Mazi, please, over to you, take the mic. All right. Um, good evening, Mazi, and uh, good evening, fellow PR friends. Uh, I hope I'm coming out uh, loud and clear, Mazi. Very loud and very clear. Go ahead. Excellent. Um, I want to thank PR friends all around the world, wherever you're hearing the sound of my voice. My comrade Onajite said that he wants you to hear from the horse's mouth. Well, I'm not a horse. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, yes, uh, my name is Amazi Ikechuku Onoha. Of course, I serve the indigenous people of Biafra in my own capacity as a broadcaster on Radio Biafra, something I've been doing for a while now and something I must say I am so passionate about. Besides broadcasting, I'm also passionate about the struggle of the restoration of Biafra. I am strong. I am so passionate. Our, our leader, Mazin Namdekano, once said that we must guard this uh, struggle with all jealousy. He said we must guard this struggle with all jealousy. I want you to read between the lines. A couple of days back, I was posting stuff on my Facebook, and people are saying, Mazi, why are you posting this and that? I say, you don't understand. I'm not a gentleman. All of us are not the same. So you get now for the same post now we day we are all freedom fighters. There is no gentleman when it comes for freedom fighting. Forget say with a wear suit, with a day for radio. We are all the same. If we put food for ground, oh boy, you can see something will happen. So forget we speak a uh, big grammar and whatever. I can be a gentleman, but whenever I felt that this restoration effort is threatened, then of course I need to react maybe in a way you will not expect me to. So, in a nutshell, my name is Amazi Ketupu Onoha. I hail from Omoawa in Olu province of Biafra land. And I'm here this evening, of course, to learn from Biafrans. Thank you, Mazi. Yeah, thank you so much, Mazi Ketupu. Yeah, and um, of course, um, firstly, before we um, go deep into what we have, you know, um, I will want you to quickly, you know, address the issue that happened um last week before um before our, our program was uh before we interrupt our program um you know that very last week we we saw some um, some kind of development from our legal team i believe um the, from the person of uh, um, um our, our lawyer barrister if find a job for you know saying to be a friend that uh in fact, um, the person of um, Mazi uh, Aloye Jimako saying that I'm um, giving shout out to our, our legal team, our legal department, and uh, some, um, some um, should I say, um, um, some foreign lawyers in the in UK, in UK, you know, praising them. Um, I think that, let, let me just say, and I quote, it's, uh, it says, and I quote, say, shout out to um, the foreign lawyers, especially the being uh, big uh, of UK and the Luchiri of Kenya, I am impressed with the in with the tremendous um, progress you have made in the singular and um, very important mission of serving Mazi and the Kano best interest. It is my abiding hope that um, we shall soon prevail. So Mazi, you know. 
for your friends to hear things like this, they expect that something um something is they, they believe that something is going on. So, but the lawyer never give any details concerning this. Can you please help us share more light or bring it down to the um to the understanding of beer friends? Maybe you are what uh, concerning what the lawyer actually meant uh meant um concerning this very post can you please um do that for us in a very short uh, um, um way where so that we can proceed for what we have all right uh Marzi, um i think basically as you know our legal team they are not alone they are working oh. with uh, you know other international you know legal minds so and then of course it is their responsibility as the resident legal team to appreciate the efforts of their you know co legal uh, minds um Mind. outside there whatever whatever contribution they make they will have to appreciate that so when when a lawyer jimako barrister was saying that of course he is appreciating the efforts our you know legal team uh internationally uh, uh are contributing in order to ensure that Mazin Nam de Kano is a free man as soon as possible. So it is not something, it's not a rocket science what he was uh, saying. Because as I'm talking to you, every day work is going on the ground. And sometimes we don't see it. And because we don't see it, some people will say to you, but then why are we not talking about Mazin Nam de Kano? Why? Why? The thing is, it is not all of us that have to do the legal journey, you understand? Mm -hmm. IPOB, as you know, is not a small boy organization. IPOB is the monster, do you understand? It is mm -hmm. indeed the biggest, the biggest, you know, uh, freedom fighting outfit out there. And of course, you should know better that we have lawyers who are in, on the payroll of IPOB. If we have any legal issues, we don't go up for sure with ourselves. We have to do what? Allow our lawyers to go and do the work and talking when it comes to the legal issue. That, I mean, if an IPOB member is arrested, what do we do? Our lawyers go and do what? Find where they are incarcerated, you know, find out what is the charges, uh, pay the bill and get them released. So these are the work of our, uh, our lawyers. So as I'm talking to you, as I said earlier, our lawyers are doing the needful. They are doing, they are working tirelessly. When they file application to the high court, I'm talking about pages, pages of documents, you know, and these things take them time to do. So I want to assure dear friends, or wherever you are all over the world, do not be afraid or do not ask the question, but what about our leader? What are we doing about him? We are doing a lot, which we cannot even spell out for you here. Thank you very much, Maz. Thank you so much, Mazi Kechuku. Um, of course, um, the ball is keep on rolling. So, uh, Mazi, you know, despite all these things, you know, even when we had our uh, HOD before, uh, because these are part of the things that we are about to discuss that very last week, but we had our HOD coming out, you know, to put light into some of these things. But in your own angle, you know, this um most of these things i see it as a as a personal thing from my own angle here i see it as something personal so concerning the sister too um which um, um with R from hod himself saying a leader gave the order and he also explained those um conditions or should i say situation that led to that and things um that happened before such um order was cancelled by our leader so Marzi, now if i'm not mistaken of course i can see that our people have seen that the, the leadership are really doing a lot which we are we are we are getting there uh, sooner than later but still the the ban is still there but Marzi, the people are still carrying out the order of the city they are still sitting at home don't you think it is the right time for the leadership to reason, or should I say, to, 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 to share the idea of the people. So as well, the way the people who pass the wrong information or give our leader a wrong impression 
concerning the sister to order don't you think it is the right thing for the leadership as well to also pass the same information to our, our leader because they also have the access to him so that they can be in the same page with the people don't you think so all right mazi um when i speak now i'm speaking as mazi kechuko aloha Exactly. I'm not speaking on be I'm not speaking on behalf of uh, DOS or on behalf of the leadership of IPOB because I don't have the mandates to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna speak as an individual, my own you know view or perspective to the matter. Now, Maz, what I want to say is this: I think we have come to a point where we need to move on. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Where we need to move on because there are things that we cannot allow to keep pulling us back. We have a lot to do, okay? Now, our leader is still in custody, he's still incarcerated. That should be our priority number one. The issue of sit at home or not sit at home, we've been there, we've talked about it, we shouted about it, we misunderstand each other about it, we understand each other finally. For me, I think we need to move forward because remember, our enemies are watching, all right? And they enjoy, they enjoy the fact that we are stand still. We are stand still talking about sit at home every day, sit at home, sit at home. I think we have gone past that, if you ask me. Now, what do I think about it? Now, when I talk about it, I need to talk about way forward. I believe in the way forward. Because an umbrella election is coming up shortly, isn't it? An umbrella election is coming up. Yeah, so coming yeah. there, so. Exactly. So we need to think about all those things. You know, our leader is also going to court in October. There's a lot of things that are happening that we need to focus. We need to focus very much on those. So when we keep on talking about sit at home, sit at home, sit at home, our enemies are enjoying it. They like that. They like that drama, you know. But now we are IPOB for goodness sake, and we are smarter than that. We are beer friends. And we are smarter than that. Now, my own conclusion when it comes to sit at home is very simple. It's very simple. I'm not going to go all over it again or start who is wrong, who is not wrong, who said what, who didn't say what. No. If you are a good Biafran, if you are a good Ipobian, if you love your people, if you have the interest of Biafran's at heart, you be careful what you say on social media. Very, very important. You don't want to create something that is going to cause argument. Because at the end of the day, you're going to have 50% saying, we agree. You're going to have the other 50 saying, we don't agree. And yet, the whole 100% are from the same family. We don't want to divide the house. So what I'm saying is this. If you feel as a Biafran, as an IPOB, that you want to sit at home, that's your choice. Master, I don't even understand what I'm saying. This is how yeah, I've resolved it, how, yeah, how, exactly. I've, how I've left mine. If you feel you don't want to sit at home on Mondays, that is your choice. But the order is very simple, direct. The order is simple and direct. Sit at home is cancelled. Having said that sit at home is cancelled, you're not going to force people not to sit at home if they want to. That's their choice. Okay? And those who don't want to sit at home, so be it. So that we can move on. As a matter of fact, 14th of September is Sabotua's day, and we are mm. supposed to sit at home. And that is the one we should be talking about now. So the one of okay. Mondays is entirely up to anybody who wants to continue sitting at home. I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to castigate you because you want to continue sitting at home on Mondays. That's your choice. All right. But what I'm saying is, let us move on. Let us okay. move on. We've, we have stood still in this issue for too long. And it's exactly. not helping our cause. We need to move on now, Mazi. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mazi. You know, talking about um, 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 the, the, the 14th of September, can you please, in a very short uh, note, can you please quickly put more light into this? So that BFRS, because even many people do, don't really understand the, the, the importance of 14th of September. They don't really know how important it is, even to our leader himself. So can you please put more light? Let the friends understand the reason why that day is a very special day. All right. 14th of September 
has nothing to do with, you know, it's not about maybe DOS giving you command or giving you instruction. Um, mm -hmm. It is not about somebody coming and say, hey, you're going to sit at home on 14th of September. No. It is something we've been doing before our leader was incarcerated, remember. On the 14th of September 2017, the Zoo Army went to our leader's home, okay, and killed mm -hmm. 28 Biafrans. They killed 28 IPO Bians. They killed people. And the same attack on our leader's place led to the death and the miss of her, uh, his royal majesty and her royal majesty can do you understand now we are now trying to remember that day so the best you can do for Walid Amazinam the Kano and the departed souls of the Afrans who passed away that day is to observe that day it's a memorial day it's a remembrance day and at the same time we are saying to the saboteurs hmm. we are coming for you saboteurs who have their hands in the death of their friends now and before and whenever one day is one day so when we say 14th of september is still at home i want you to understand first what it's all about it's not about show of power to say okay we are dos we are commanding you to sit at home on the 14th of september it has nothing to do with that it is something that has been there it has been there we've been doing that and to remember and to commemorate the death of 28 Biafrans as well as the death of our leader's parents who passed away on the 14th of September 2017. So that is exactly what the sit at home is all about. And that day, Biafrans, is sacrosanct. That day is sacrosanct. We must observe it. I said must observe it. Not because of me, not because of me, but because of our fellow Biafrans who has spilled their blood, we must show that we appreciate them. Because if we don't honor them, if we don't honor them, do you know what I'm going to think? I was okay. So if I die tomorrow, these people are going to remember me. Why are they risk yeah. my life? Why, why, why are they risk my life? But each time we observe, uh, uh, we, we, we honor and commemorate the death of our fallen heroes, it gives us morale to say, oh boy, this struggle will be for nothing. Shall you get you know, sir, I'd like to put some um, uh, some some pigeon there yeah, and yeah, then yeah. and a coast no, see, and for coast I'm <laughs> Just go ahead. I'm in the spirit to chill. <laughs> so, as I as I talk now, the thing will hold us together. The thing will make us be one people. Now, at Biafra, mm -hmm. we maybe say we don't hear each other language. Oh, I know they hear Urubu. I know they hear Sekiri. I know they hear each job. But they get one language. Only you they hear at Biafra. Sure you get exactly. so exactly. if Biafra is, if Biafra is the same thing that holds us together, then of course we need to respect the spirit of Biafra. We need to respect the dead. Very, very important. Any day we stop respecting the dead, it means the struggle is nothing. Any day we stop respecting the dead because it is because of the blood of the dead that we are still marching on. So please, Biafrans, 14th of September. 2021 is sacrosanct, and you must sit at home to honor the dead. Thank you very much. Exactly. But, Mazi, um, before we go to the next issue here, um, I think they should, uh, we should have have uh, we should have a flyer flying all over the social media concerning this um, 14th of September. I don't know, maybe the leadership has any for us, or we the people can as well create some for mm. ourselves and for the Yes, we will. Ah. We will have it. We will have it definitely. It's coming out as soon as possible, Mazi. The okay. fires are coming Thank you out. Thank very much. Now let us quickly go into the issue of Anambra State. There is a current. We have a very huge problem going on in Anambra. We have our enemy trying to renew our slavery documents. We have them there. They are very eager. They are very desperate. They are even roaring like a lion. They are ready to devour anyone who stands on their way. How do you, and we haven't had the leadership um, saying anything about this officially. So what do you think about this? How do you, uh, in your own perspective, you know, concerning this Anambra election? All right, Mazi, I'm listening to you now. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? 
يا اي كان يمي اوب يو كان يمي مازي Yes, we are back now. You can hear me again. Sorry about that. I lost you okay. for a moment there. I think we're back now. Please, if you can repeat okay. your question, I will appreciate that. Okay, okay. Let me do. Um, I was talking about I was talking about um the unambrasted of uh unambrasted election. We are the, the the political um the political horrors or uh, the the political vampires. They are very desperate. They are roaming. They, are, they, they want to come to our streets to, to renew the certificate of our slavery, to renew our suffering, to renew our backwardness, to renew the killings that the Fulani, that they are, that they are, they are, they are masters in the, in, 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 in the caliphate, to renew the, the, the killing, to renew our slavery to them. So, Mazi, all these things are going on, and these people, they are very desperate to the extent that they are ready to crush. Anyone who stand in their in their way. So, Mazi, what do you feel? And we haven't had the DOS, the leadership, say something official about this um, about elections in Anambra State. So, Mazi, what do you see? Or should I say, can you please address this issue? And um, what is your take concerning the elections? All right, Mazi, I um. I don't want to preempt uh, the DOS, okay? That means I don't want to be yes, speaking I'm not, on I'm their not behalf. Saying you're speaking, yes. I'm not saying you're yes. speaking on yes, behalf I'm, of I'm, I'm, because yes, I know you are also a heavyweight in the in, in the in, uh, in absolutely, the absolutely Basi. Yes. So let let, so let, let, let me land. Let me land. Okay. Let me land. Now what I'm saying is I don't want to preempt the DOS. I don't want to speak on behalf of the DOS because the DOS they are capable. That I can assure you very very capable the only thing is that um we we be our friends we are impatient most of the time and because of that impatience or let me not use the word impatient let me say we have this zeal it's a zeal for freedom you know and we want to see things happen like now and if it don't happen the way we want it we begin to you know get agitated get angry and offended i think Bazi chike dozium has spoken about this alambra election and what did he say he said that they are working on it. That's what he said. And I believe yeah. him when he said that. He said, um, you know, people don't know Mazi Chike Dozium. He's, um, he's a very noble man, a very gentle man, a man of few words. If not because our leader was incarcerated, some people don't even know who he is. You don't exactly. see him. He, said, he, doesn't, he doesn't want to talk. He doesn't want to come out and speak. Exactly. He, he, walks, he walks from the behind, behind the scene. That's how Masuchika Erosium works. But of course, duty calls. He has to come out and take the mantle. He has to face the people. People are firing left and right, you know? And he's taking it like a man. But if there is anything about him that I, I can tell you right now, he is a man of integrity. Take it to the bank. It will not bounce. All right. Let me talk about Alhambra election. Of course, of course. Are we doing something about it? Hell yeah, we are doing something about it. And trust me when I tell you, of course, there will be an um, emergency broadcast tomorrow from the DOS, Mas Chica Edozium. I think he will be on air tomorrow. Who knows? He might tell us what we want to hear with regards to Anambra election. So I will say, let's hold our horses so that we can hear from the horse's mouth. That's like you said. <laughs> okay, uh, Mas, I don't know what you on this because... Um, I really want to know your own opinion concerning the election. You know, I'm not well, saying of course, Marcy, 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 of course. No, Mas, listen, Mas, listen. Of course, of course. I don't want. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, those fools, those fools in the government house, those fools in the southeast. I'm talking about the governors. Okay, they believe yes, that because because Mazen Nambekano is incarcerated, they are free. They can do whatever they want. They can write, write, write. But they don't know that the most dangerous people is not Mazinam the Kano, but the Biafran people. Mas, they, I say this, they don't know. They don't know. Mazinam the Kano is, Mas is one person. Mazinam the Kano is what? One person. Okay, take, take a look now. Take a look now. Um, as far as it concerns, they sit at home. 
You see what is going on there? People are angry, they're doing things and all the stuff. Now, do you think that there is any Biafran who want to see election happen in Alhambra? It is only those who have taken money, those who have taken, you know, a, a, a few naira there and there to go and do whatever they're asked to do. But a true Biafran does not want to see election happen. Because at the end of the day, what is the need of election? What have we gained? How old are you now, Nolajite? How old am I? We have been around. You have voted, voted, voted. You have seen election, election. You have seen governors, governors, governors. Oh boy, if they fool you today, come fool you again tomorrow. Not the Momo you be. Even self Mugu. Even self Mugu, boy. Even self Mugu. Mugu go pay today, pay tomorrow. Next tomorrow, Mugu go carry brain. Tell you, self, boy, I don't pay again. You call and say, so that old job. You can say that so the, message, <laughs> the message is very clean and it's very clear now. Thank you very much, Matt. You know, moving forward, I want you to quickly talk to our people in the coastal region. Firstly, Mazi, I would like to ask you concerning the coastal region. We have the set of the uh, we have some uh, the set of um the 19, 19, uh, 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 67, if I'm not mistaken, during the, the civil war. We have our people, our fathers, our 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 our, our, our parents dead who are who are who are involved who are involved in that very uh, uh, um, um, brutal genocide, and um, we now have this new generation of Biafran uh, Biafran agitators, and we also have them as well in the coastal region. But it seems that um, there's something that that is that seems looks similar. There's something that looks similar. Because the way they did not respond enough, then it seems as, as if um, they are not also responding the way they should now. But the difference from my own angle, the difference I, I see here is that they uh, don't let me uh, share my view, don't let me share my opinion here because your opinion is what we, we, we want you to say to our face, say to our face, let us know exactly what the hell we are doing the, the 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 area we've tried the area that um that we need to do better and uh, because if you can't tell us we will be thinking we may be thinking that oh it's like we are doing better because i always um i i i, I love criticism because when somebody criticizes you despite the person may do it in any kind of uh, with any kind of intention it may be to, to bully you, it may be to, 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 to demoralize you, it may be to, to, to subject you to any of uh, uh, to one or two things. But the most important thing I normally take in every criticism, it is the message the person is passing, the message that is inside the criticism. So, Marvin, um, uh, uh, um, Ikechuku, I want you to um, kindly rate this, this very generation and the generation of our fathers, um, the one of the 1967. Please, Mazi, um, over to you. All right, Mazi, I'm going to simplify this. I'm going to simplify it uh, because uh, the thing is, obviously, I was not there uh, when those of the 69, I wasn't even born then. You were not there, but of course, from history, we heard a lot about what happened. Now, the coastal region of 69 is what I called they were acting on scripts. What do I mean that? They came out, they heard what happened, what their parents told them, most of them, and they're acting on that script, okay? Some of them are afraid because they heard that there was an issue of abandoned property, okay? If I say I'm Igbo, for those of them who are Igbos, if I say now that I'm Igbo, they are going to come after my property, which I've gained from my father, even though it was through a, a scrupulous, you know, way. Now I'm giving you an example. Uh, 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 somebody like uh, Ken Sarawiwa, he's a case study, okay? Ken Sarawiwa understands fully well what happened. But because there are things he's afraid of, if he had to say that or admit that he is evil, he might be labeled. To say, well, if you are evil, why did you harm your people? Why did you do this or why did you do that? That's why I say that the coastal region of 69, they were acting on script. Now, I don't want to say much about those ones because to be honest with you, 
if we write history today, if we write history today, as far as Biafra is concerned, obviously there is nothing you can write about the coastal region of 1969, except, except, because you need to give honor to whom honor is due, Chief Frank Opigo, the man who gave us the name Biafra. You cannot forget him. I mean, you can't talk about Biafra without mentioning the name Opigo. And you can't talk about Biafra without mentioning the saboteur of all saboteurs, Edwin Clark. You understand? Now, let's move away to the coastal region of today. And I want to talk about them. I'm going to use Pigeon English to talk about them because that's the only way I can be able to express myself about the coastal region of today. Bros, I tell you, eh, the thing what I see for coastal region of today, hmm? I, I don't know whether you don't hear what the way they talk say, they are more Biafran than us. I don't know if you don't hear that word. They are more oh. Biafran than us. You know, say before, we can't think, say, oh, when I will serve Biafra, you know, I will carry on for hearts, I will carry on for mind. Uh, I'll give you an example. Somebody like Efe. Um, I saw Efe do, he did, she did a, a short video or Facebook video. Okay, Efe. I can't see anything. I can't listen, listen, listen. I, I said, this girl, if I can just bring this girl for IQ of you, this girl will be really asset. Oh, but I begin to track her down. I begin to, that's so why I discover Efe. I begin to track Efe down until I get hold of Efe. I say, my sister, can I talk to you? Then I begin to talk with her. I say, listen, I want to mentor you. Then she was interested. I begin to mentor Efe. Mentor Efe. You know? Now, there is something about Efe you might not, or people might not understand. I see somebody, you see that, I see Efe as you did so. It's somebody I can go to war with. Do you understand? She's, she's, she, she does things with her mind. Whether she's getting it right or she's getting it bad, the good news is that she do it with all her mind. She won't die today, today. I don't know if you get what I mean. You know, we are human beings. That's why I'm not quick in judging people. Sometimes you might do it wrongly. You might get out of line. All we need to do is just say, family, call you back and say, please, you're not getting it right. And that is, if you ask her, I'm still mentoring her today. Whenever she does a video that I don't like, I will phone her and say, what nonsense is this? Go and delete it. She will quickly go and delete it from Facebook. People don't know she, why she deleted the video. People told me she, she has told me uh, um, something like that before. Exactly. So, but what do I like about Efe? Now, I'm calling her name because she's from the coastal region. Oh boy, you see that girl? I think trust her. Because that is what you call hardcore. You know, you know hardcore. Now, for me, for me, you're going to be coastal region, Ross. I feel do something now, oh boy. It can't be say the thing called one catch fire. I feel say, hey, my children, no, this and that, oh, this and that, oh. We're not taking any credit away from our people. But I'm talking about the coastal region. When they embark on something, they, they do it with all their hearts. That is why we need to guide them, you know, guide them. Why do I mean guiding them? Because, you know, we have been in IPOB, they join us. We, we, we can't criticize them now and then. When they see that we're not doing it right, would rather call them back and advise. Now, look at Mrs. My, Madam Arewa. You know how old she is. <laughs> you know how old Madam Arewa is. You want to go try. Now, old woman, you want to go try. I, don't, I, want, I want you to know the kind of people you have in coastal region. Hardcore. You might think they are stubborn. They will give you trouble. But you know, in a, in a freedom fighting outfit, we don't need quiet people. We need mix, we need quiet, we need uh, arrogant people, we need yeah. people where, where, where they're ready to fight, to bite you, anything where you want. Mm -hmm. That is how you get freedom. Because you can send somebody and say, go and do this assignment. Because that person is not in their nature to do that, they will not go and do it. But somebody who is like, you know, street person, you need them for some certain work. Sure you get. So what I've seen about coastal region of this day, oh boy, they don't come much. They pay for ground. They want to take their destiny for their hand, I can tell you. They're not interested in the script. Whatever their forefathers or whatever has told them, they don't carry a good for those Now, their own thing they want to do now, they think we're good for them and their picking and their children. So, to be honest with you, I love Costa region of this day. Our leader is not a stupid man. Our leader is very clever. You know, he's been waiting for Costa region to come join. It took them time. Even when we begin to complain to say, nah, see, leave these people now, nah. leave them, make we go, make we carry all our five states go. He said, no, I cannot mm -hmm. leave my blood behind. 
Martin Amdekano say, I cannot leave my blood behind. I might interest you to let you know that when he was incarcerated in 2015, he was offered five states of the Igbo extract. Yeah. And he refused. He said he wanted his blood. He wanted his people. And now I'm beginning to find out the reason why Martin Amdekano waited all the years for the coastal region. Do you understand? And really, they are all in now. We are all together. Are you talking about the economy goodness? Eh? All these ladies waiting for Facebook, oh boy, they, they passed seven men, you know? So I really love the coastal region of this day and age because, to be honest with you, I can count on them. They know what they want and they will not stop until they get it. Thank you, Mazi. Okay, thank you so much, Mazi. You know, you're talking about um, 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 the abandoned property. And it seems as if um, we are having these kind of challenges. And to be honest with you, Mazi, to be honest with you, I can assure you that we are working on ground. And um, as we are working on ground, we engage our people, we engage our traditional rulers, we engage most of our people. But we have come across such thing, whereby we, we, we went to a kingdom in River State, uh, in Igbocha, uh, labeled um, River State. We went there. Um, and um, there's some there's some um, 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 communities that we, we 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 encounter during this um, um, during this evangelic uh, evangelical move. But what they are telling us is that ah, oh they want the civil now so that they will come collect our family house. Mm. Some people, what you said, it is totally true. Even our leader have said it countless times. There are some people are still into this um, thinking, or they, they still have this mindset of they knew the truth, they understand the truth, but because of worldly things or worldly things, they are setting themselves back to join the moving train. So, Mazi, don't you think if our leader can give them more assurance that, or uh, to, to let them understand that, okay, we are not taking anything from anybody, just let us come together have our freedom let us start new even um, if we say uh, um, 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 Ibo Biafran or not Ibo Biafran we all are Biafrans as an Urobo Biafran if, uh, if uh, I think um, my children they have property in a, 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 in a Boeing state where my wife came from my children have property there not just only in a, in, in Delta not just only in a, a river so then I am very free to live anywhere in Biafran land. So, I don't think this should be a problem. So, Mazi, don't you think um, if they can give them more advice, don't you think it can work from your own um, uh, point of view? All right. Mazi, before I go into that, I saw a, a write-up here on your wall. Uh, I think it's coming from Loy Loy Karnofsky. I think I will not be doing justice if I don't read what she wrote here, it really touched my heart. She said, I miss Mazinam the Kano's broadcast. I miss him so much. His wife will be missing him more. God bless her. We are all wanting him out. I will pray for her every day. If anyone can please tell her she will have a husband back soon, please, sir. So uh, I cannot really, you know, most of the time we keep on talking about other issues, talking about our leader, and we forget about this woman who for the second time or even maybe for the third time, have to live without her husband for a long time. You know, it is not easy. We need to recognize her and we need to say that Biafra people are with her Africa. forever. We are always on her side and we will continue to put her in our prayer as we are putting our leader in prayer. And I say, may God bless Lola Kano. Um, uh, of course, she is indeed a great woman. All right. Thank you, Loy Loy, for bringing that to our attention. And the mass going back to your question now personally i don't think you need somebody to give you an assurance before you make restitution mm -hmm. you know you know you know you know you can wake up now and say you know what what i did to this guy is so bad i want to go and apologize you don't need somebody to tell you to go and apologize to him because as soon as somebody tells you to go and apologize then obviously it's no longer it's not real it's fake that's what i'm saying now you see, if you have to apologize, you don't even need to be afraid whether you're going to lose anything. 
You understand? So I don't think it's a good idea for anybody to give anybody assurance to say, okay, I apologize, this and that. No, I don't think so. There are no good things. There are no bad things. If they want to keep on living like that, it's their, it's their choice. It's their choice. So we're not going to, because some people will see, will think of it as manipulation. You are manipulating us now because you want us to give up this, give up that. We are not asking anybody to give up anything. As a matter of fact, we are talking about properties. How many years now? How many years now? That's a long time. Do you understand? What we should be concentrating our attention now is for the restoration of Biafra because when Biafra comes, of course, we are going to get more. Now, most of us have, got, have grown past that. We are giving 20 pounds. Out of 20 pounds, we have created billionaires in dollars, billionaires in pounds, telling billionaires in euros. So why should we be talking about 50 and 60 years or 100 years old house waiting for Do <laughs> You understand? Like, don't say now. Nah. Even yourself, we are not it. If they carry those about no property give you, what do you want to do with them? The point is my point. <laughs> exactly. So all we need is acknowledgement. Acknowledgement to say, we are sorry for this. It is not a, it is not a compulsory, but if they want to, they just have to apologize. But as far as the property, I don't think anybody's interested in those properties anymore. Most of the owners of those properties are even dead. You know, yeah, okay. some of them, they are property. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, so that's that's basically what I think about that. Okay, Marzi. okay, okay, Mazi, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, that, that was a great one. So, um, before before we go to the, uh, we are coming close because you said I should not hold you for long, but um, um, I think I will hold you longer than uh, we planned um, because it don't tell who don't they push you, Mazi, too scarce. Happy. In fact, it's scarce Happy. like a like a nepa. <laughs> so that let's put it that way. Um, of course, um, for our viewers to ask questions and to make them um, a few contributions, these are the these are the number you need to call on WhatsApp. Uh, plus four nine one five two one seven five four three one six nine. I come again. I repeat again. Plus four nine one five two one seven five four three one six nine. That is the number to call to make a contribution to ask your question concerning um, what we're discussing today. And um, of course, as the program goes on, um, if we have a call, I will have to interrupt you, sir, so that um, we can um, hear from the callers. They can ask um, their questions. Of course, here with me, like you all know, like you all have seen, uh, we have the person of Mazi uh, Ikechuku. Uh -huh. These are the these, these are the Benisconi of um, Biafra. I know I never call you this one before for your present, but me no way to call you for back. Yeah, Marzi, talking about um the issue of uh, um of our of our, of our people, the welfare of our people on ground, how the leadership have been coping um despite um the ups and down and the family which we can uh, put time on that things are now coming to to normal in the family. The, 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 the enemies are now putting their face down in shame. Um, how do you, um, what can you tell us concerning the wealth of our people, our men on ground, those who are, who are sacrificing their life to defend us despite the arrest of our leader? So, what what can you say about the welfare? How are they taking? How have, are they be taken care of? So, Mazi, please, um, I would like you to um, um, share um, what you have concerning this to be a friend, so that uh, people like we ourselves our mind can go to rest. Thank you very much, Mazi. All right, thank you, Mazi. Uh, you know, initially, initially after the launch of uh, ESN, okay. Obviously, our enemies, they try so many ways um, to tell the world that we are taking care of ESN, this and that, and what have you. And then, of course, our leader studied the situation. And then, of course, he made available uh, platforms and appoint people who will directly be concerned to ensure that ESN are taken care of. As you know, uh, there are funds coming in within IPOB and, of course, outside IPOB, people who, because remember, ESN is not for IPOB alone. ESN is for Biafrans. I want us to understand that. 
When ESN work, they don't work for IPOB alone. They work for Biafras, all the Biafras in Biafra land. So, um, I mean, you know about World Igbo Congress, okay? They also try on their own side to see what they can do to help and assist. And whatever comes in must surely go to ESN, you know, to ensure that they are, they are taken care of. Because um, I hear people saying things like, you know, ESN money, ESN money this, ESN money that. I want to let you understand one thing. If anybody feels that they can play around with ESN money, well, that is their problem. Because at the end of the day, it is called dead man's money. That is what you call dead man's money. And when you eat dead man's money, you will die. It's as simple as that. Uh -huh. You don't eat dead man's oh, money. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Marzi, please, I'm um, uh, sorry. I, I, like I said earlier, I, 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 will, I will interrupt you, sir. Um, sorry for the interruption. Um, we have a caller here uh, because of our time. So that we will make use of our time. Uh -huh. So we will not know when you will give us this opportunity again. So, um, no, 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 no. Hello, caller, what is your name and where are you calling from? This is Keller Kids. I'm calling from UK. Okay, please. You have two minutes to make your contribution or ask your question. Go ahead, caller. All right. My brother, what you guys are saying there, um, it's really educating. Uh, my contribution is, I want to ask you a question. Why are their friends waiting for somebody to give them order about another election? Are they happy with what is going on? Are they happy with all those governors and their legislative uh, members? Why would they wait for DOS or anybody to tell them to, to bypass the election? Why would the individuals take that, um, that decision on themselves, by their own self, take the decision that they don't need this election? They don't need anybody to tell them to stop anything about the election. These people will deceive them again and again and again. How many times do they want to be deceived? That's my question. Let everybody answer this question on each phone. Thank you. Thank you very much, caller. I believe Mazi, uh, um, uh, Ike Chiku, you can hear the caller very loud and clear. Hope you can hear him. Yes, um, yes, I heard him loud and clear. And of course, I can understand what he's saying and where he's coming from. But Which now, your um, I believe that's, that's was the way he passed your message to, to Biafran as well. When I asked him... All right. Listen, Mazi, I beg, drop. You see, now you don't be become journalists, small, small. Now, nah. if you like that day for Sahara reporters uh, or, <laughs> or Chinese TV, <laughs> all right, I'm just kidding. Mazi, listen, you see, I, I need us to understand something. When we say that people are waiting for instruction or order, it doesn't mean that you are not a human being or you cannot reason for yourself. Do you understand? Now, let me tell you why we always talk about order and command and control and what have you. It's about coordination. Coordination. Mm -hmm. The reason why IPOB has been formidable to today is because anything we do is coordinated. Do you understand? Have you heard about the word coordinated attack? Do you know why they use the word coordinated attack? It means it was well planned. It was well orchestrated. And when you hammer, you know, good miss. So you get. Now, there is a, a proverb in Igbo language. He said that um, a cow, seven men are feeding, but he's, he's still hungry. It's a saying. A cow being fed by seven men, but yet that cow is hungry. What am I saying? You cannot say to our people, okay, do what you want to do concerning an Ambra election. The question is, what are you going to do on Ajite? What is Mazikechu going to do? What is the other guy going to do? Everybody has their own mind. They can do whatever they want to do. At the end of the day, they will spoil what everybody did. When everybody do what they want to do, they will not have results. Rather, they will spoil what every other person did. Do you understand me? I might have a brilliant idea how I want to stop an number election. Your own idea, oh boy, go be, go be fuck up. Shall you get? As I don't do my own, no, you can't do your own. You go carry your reggae, can't spoil my high life. Shall you get? But now, when we get an order, it is called coordinated. Now we know as soldiers, you know, we keep forgetting something, dear friends. 
The war is not over. The Afghan war is not over. We are still soldiers. We still wear that uniform of 1967. We are soldiers. And anything we do, we must act like soldiers. We must not act like soldiers because we cannot afford to do what? Lose. Anything we do, there must be results. If you know mm -hmm. Mazen Nam Bekano, whenever he embarks on sit at home, it's 100% success. Anything he embarks on is 100% success. Have you asked yourself why? Coordination. Coordination. DOS doesn't feed you. DOS doesn't feed you. But they are there to help you do what it coordinates. You are a man. You get family. You they feed your family. You they feed yourself. They pay your house rent. Nobody they feed you. But you need coordination because you are not alone. There are millions of us. And if you allow these millions to go and do whatever they like, oh boy, we could spoil everything. But when we get an instruction and say, on this day, do this, do that, and we do the same thing the same day, oh boy, come on. Who have how many how many more? How many people will be arrested? That's the thing. That's the thing. That's the thing. But when you alone goes, they will arrest you and you begin to sink like an airy. You begin to talk, talk. They send me, oh, they do this. Oh. But when we are together, it will, call, it will be called coordination. Coordination. This is one thing I want dear friends to learn. You see, this sit at home of Mondays, it is good. But because it's not everybody that is observing it, you see, something not spoil now. Here you get. But when we do them together, oh boy, people go no say IPOB they do something. Their friends they do something. And in if fact, the government will speak. The system was only suspended. It's on suspension, not cancelled. Suspe exactly. Suspension. Suspension is the word because we will call it up now and then. Do you understand? And that is a tool in our hand that is more resourceful and we use it and we, uh, we have results. Do you understand? So make we no spoil lamb. Make we no spoil lamb. Many people can now can't take it at home as nothing. Share you get. You know, say when we announce it at home, if it's safe with the inside house, so that's good day for street safety, which they wait for us. <laughs> but with the inside house, we sit at home. So I'm begging beer friends, make we not mess up sit at home. Make we make that name sit at home to be hallowed and respected. You know, because Marcy, 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 you say something, uh, you say something about a coordination. And um, and um, uh, and um, and um, um, uh, um, togetherness and command and control. You know, in a case like this, some Biafrans are now start. They now started having this kind of feeling that there are some people that this um, command and control is meant for, and there are some people that this command and control can uh, did not apply to. So. In so many cases where we have some kind of uh, unnecessary drama on media, so normally we uh, uh, I, I, we don't uh, we on, on, on Coastal Biafra TV we don't mention names and we don't um, call names. We don't address individual. We address nations. We address a, a, a bunch of idiots. We address uh, you know. In this case, we have people within the family who are having some kind of um, disrespectful argument that also have to do with the, the leadership trying to stain, trying, let me put it that way, trying to stain the leadership before our HO started talking. You know, don't you think um, this same this same armor should be applied to them even when leader wasn't there? Don't, don't you think, uh, because some people, I have come across somebody who is having uh, some kind of argument with me that, okay, if you say, okay, um, um, because of leader, we are not going to do this. Because leader, uh, or this thing has been happening before leader uh, was kidnapped. Then, don't you think you also need to suspend all the order or the power of command and control till leader is released? I don't know you maybe you're getting my question. Yes, I understand what you're saying, Mazi. Okay, so, so let, let, let me the leadership led by Mazi Chike Dozim 
should apply it on every principal officer from the person who followed him i mean from his deputy down to the uh, uh, family member okay Mazi, um you see when i talk sometimes i speak as a lawyer okay so maybe you might not you might misunderstand me but um you know when you are a legal mind when you speak sometimes there are things that you want to see before you can actually make submission now um i believe in um if if you if you are if you are saying something you need to substantiate what you are saying that is one thing i believe um command and control is an institution instituted by only the mass nam the khan now we should not change anything in the absence of our leader Mazen Nam the Khan. We are not allowed to do that. We cannot do that. Do you understand? We are more like caretakers. The DOS is more like what? Caretakers. Whatever they do, good or bad, at the end of the day, you have to wait for whoever that actually handed them over the reins of power to come, of course. And then he will decide if they did well or they did wrong. Do you understand? Now, for us now to begin to say they, did, they got this right, they didn't get this right, I think it's actually uh, not good and not for me because we don't know what is good or what is right in terms of the structure of IPOB. What we know is what? IPOB have rules that guides IPOB. That is number one. And, and on top of the list is this. Nobody is above the law. Nobody is above the law in IPOB. Both DOS... Both principal officers, both um, uh, coordinator, both uh, reps, nobody is above the law. Do you understand? The same hammer that you use on ordinary family member is the same hammer you use on coordinator. Now the same hammer, now you go use for what? DOS. We are all the same before the eyes of the law. Do you understand? So if somebody is claiming that uh, somebody in DOS is doing this or doing that, you need to do the needful. Bring the name forward. Bring your evidence. Do you understand? And say, Mazi K. Chuku, assuming I'm, I'm not a member of DOS, but assuming I'm a member of DOS, you can say, Mazi K. Chuku did one, two, three, four. Here are the proofs. You give it to DOS, and then you fall back and wait for them to do what? Act. If they don't act, they will tell you why they did not act. Remember, in terms of administrative action, administrative law, when somebody reports something to you in the hierarchy, you are expected to deal with it. If you don't deal with it, you need to report back to that junior person to say, listen, uh, you reported this, and this is what we've resolved. You owe that person that respect in terms of administrative action. I'm talking law here now, and it's applicable wherever you have a hierarchy. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So there, there should be complaint, and then authority has to do what? Look into the complaint. There must. It's a must. Unless it's baseless, there's no evidence. Because remember, at the end of the day, there has to be evidence because we don't want people to be labeled. Do you understand? So what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is this: I want, to, I, want, I want to rubbish. I want to rubbish. I want to rubbish that uh, notion that the uh, DOS is above the law. No, nobody is above the law in IPOP. Exactly. But all we are saying is, if anybody do anything in IPOP, no matter whoever, bring your facts and figures. Don't go to Facebook first. If you go to Facebook first and come back to us later, if you make your video, share it around and come back to us later, we will not talk to you. Do you understand? You need to start from home first before you can think of any other external action. Thank you, Mazi. Thank you so much, Mazi. I think we have a caller here as we are rounding up this program. Me. I think um, this will Maybe be our like last caller you. for the program. Hello, caller. What is your name and where are you calling from? Thank you, Major Nigeria, for speaking my time. My name is Major Nigeria. I'm calling you right here from Germany. Can you please, Major. can you please come close to your device so that we can hear you uh, louder, please? I said my name is Major Nigeria. I'm calling you from Germany. Okay, Major Zuchuku. Yeah, Major Zuchuku. Yes, Zuchuku. Go ahead. Oh, um, 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 Major Kechuku, you can hear the caller. Major Kechuku, this question goes to you. The Afrans have decided to stay at home every Monday. So why can't the uh, uh, DOS convey this message to Mazen and the camp that the Afrans want to stay at home? Because at this point of time now, 
Mazikano is in the hands of the DSS, Zuhan. So every information they are passing, you know, for me, is a very wrong information because we, we need to fight for Mazikano at this moment. Not him giving order because the order is given. For me, for personally, this order comes direct from the DSS. So we, dear friends, why can't DOS send this information that their friends don't want, want this seat at home. We want to continue this seat at home. Mm -hmm. So, and the two second, second question is, what is DOS doing? You know, we want to see action because Marzicano is in the hands of the DSS and they are manhandling his lawyer. Look at what is happening. For me, DOS need to, we have to start doing something. You see, we have to show the zoo something. I feel if we have the power. They don't know the kind of power they have. We okay. Have to utilize this. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Yeah, Thank I, I want you to run, just run up, please. Are you done? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Mazi Kechuku, I believe you can hear the, the caller so that we can uh, uh, surround up. Uh, I don't know, maybe you would like to address what he says so that I can bring up this, the next um, discussion. We can use that to round up. Uh, Mazi, I think uh, every uh, concern raised by a Biafran must be addressed and must be listened to. Because he is a Biafran, or should I say, even an IPO Bial, and they deserve to be listened. Um, yes, um, he has made a good point. And to be honest with you, of course, the first time, you know, uh, we did the food at home, I was on air, Mazi on I was on air. I was actually analyzing the situation. I have the audio, I can send it to you, you know, because, like I said, it was DOS who actually initiated the food at home, remember? So we don't forget quickly. They are the ones who initiated it. So and they initiated it because they believe it will work, or maybe it will do whatever it will do. But like I said, it goes back to this theory of command and control. If there is a superior order that comes along and say, stop this or suspend this for now, we have to listen. Do you understand me? It doesn't mean we don't believe in sit at home. Like I said. Sit at home is one of the umbrella. It's a civil disobedience. It's a tool that we use and it works perfectly for us. Do you understand? So I would advise dear friends to take it easy at this point in time. Of course, like you said, it is not cancelled. It is what? Suspended. You understand? I believe, who knows? It might come back again. But it's not for my decision, it's not for me to make that decision. It has to come from what? From above. And once the decision comes again from our leader, we will start sitting at home. Why not? Anything that we need to do to ensure that Biafra is restored, that our leader is released from custody, I am willing to do it. I'm for it. I am not anti sit at home. I am not against it. I suppose sit at home. But like I said, we need to obey the rules and order. And okay, then, Marcy, before, uh, before we call it a day, um, we saw the, 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 the IPOB, should I say, the Biafran, um, 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 head of um, uh, of our legal team in America, who just um, landed uh, landed in Biafran land, um, which is, I believe, uh, um, the person of um, Bruce or what what is his name? Um, is this or st is still this um, 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 on the account of um, 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 and we 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 also have that they were they were denied the, the access to see our leader so can you please um you know uh put more light to this you know when the lawyer tweeted it that uh dos denied them dos them they cared, and so on and so forth even when the the, the the foreign representative also came they also they are still denying them they are still denying them the access to our leader so mazi uh don't you think um there is any other way that uh, we can tackle that, that that we can use to tackle these issues? All right, uh, Mazi, uh, just a second, just a second. All right, I just want to get this sorted out. Um, okay, can you hear me, Mazi? Mazi, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead, Mazi. 
All right. Um, now, in terms of um, the lawyers that came and they were denied access, um, it, it's common cause. We need to understand the fact that uh, the zoo, the zoo, they, they shivered. They were Mazi, Kichuku, your, your camera is freezed. I don't know, maybe you, you know. Are you sure? Go. No, I can I still see it myself. It's live on my side. How is it? Is it is it fine now? Oh okay. maybe yeah, just just go ahead, Mazi. Go ahead. Can you see me on the, is, is the camera fine? Yeah. Um thank you, Barry. Thank you very, very much. Okay. Do, uh, can you please on your camera, um, um, re off your camera and on it again, please? Okay, let me do that. There we go. It's, it's back on now. now. Is it blank now? Or is it How is it now? I think it should, it should be from your side because I see it. Or maybe it's from my side. Um, and viewers, yeah, my, my, can my, my, let us know if you can, if the camera are good and the voice are also good. Let us know. So you can go ahead, Mavi. Right, but, but you can hear me, right? Oh. Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, Mazi, um, so as I was saying before, the issue of um, uh, our lawyers being denied access, especially the international uh, legal team that came as well, is very simple. The zoo saw our international legal team, and of course, they shivered. You need to understand because they know what they are dealing with here. They know they are dealing with a very serious matter. And for the fact that this legal team internationally came from America to them, they got afraid, you know. And then, of course, they have to lie to say that uh, the person who was supposed to work out them is not available. But we are still optimistic. I think tomorrow, being Monday, if I'm not mistaken, or Thursday, I think tomorrow, they are going back again to see our leader. So let, let's wait first and see what happens, you know, tomorrow. Because now, what they are doing now amounts to uh, a contempt of court. Because the, 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 the court has actually given that order that our leader should be visited a couple of times in a week. And if they stop that, it means they are flaunting the court order and that is a contempt of court. And what Barry State Job for and the team needs to do is to lodge an urgent application to the High Court. Do you understand? And then, of course, the High Court will issue a new directive straight to DSS. So I think basically that is what is playing out now. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter whatever they do or whatever happens. They need to understand that they have a great war in their hand. Mazi, can you hear me? All right, something is not right. I can't even hear you, Mazi. Okay, sorry. Um, let us receive the last caller and um, we can call it a day. Somebody say, Mazi, on Adita, you tampered with the camera. I don't know how, <laughs> how can I tamper with a camera that I'm not using. So, okay. Um, I think. Mazi, Mazi, can... let me. Mazi, can I? Do you want me to, to, to reconnect from my side? Do you want me to reconnect? Yeah, I think if that is possible, you can as well do that. Because okay, we are about yes, to end the program. So, um, okay, um, caller, what is your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, I'm calling from the United States of America. My name is Itimo Bin. Okay, Mazi, please, um, go ahead. You have to me, please. Yeah, um, I want to thank you, my brother, on Ajite, and also thank uh, Mazi Ikejibu on for his time and his uh, um, tenacity, you know. To pilot the program. Okay. Um, I think back uh, again. Yeah, mine good. will be a, a, a little bit. Mine will be a little bit advice. <laughs> this is my own opinion. I think he is a great man, but I think we need to stay away from Nigerian terms, from using Nigerian terms. It doesn't go down well with the different. Like the order comes from above. You know, this is Nigerian terms. I think we need to stay away from all of those. And then Mazi Kechuku also says something. He said that if somebody bring um, complaint to DOA, if the person first of all go on the Facebook to rant, bringing it in, it then means that it's dead on arrival. But I don't. I suggest that 
that shouldn't be the case. Whatever, I'm not saying that people should go on the Facebook to go and run before bringing case, the, their case to the DOS. But should in case somebody do that, that should not stop the DOS from looking into what that person is complaining about. So I think Mazi um, Kejuku, another thing is that over, over, I think there is over emphasis on um, 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 control and command. There is over emphasis on that. If you watch our leader, he never overflowed or over emphasized on that. That for me simply means to be disciplined. And if people are, and if people are saying something, you know, the way that information transit at home comes about, the information comes about, nobody is doubting the DOS it is the way and manner in which that message came about. So these are the things we need to put into consideration. Like even uh, when we are talking to Biafra, our facial expression should be should, should should look different from that of Nigeria. You cannot be saying when the other comes from above. For me, on Abama I don't like it. The other come come from where above. Um, let me. I mean, uh, not... Okay, Kola, thank you very much. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you're done, but I will want you to round up. But I also have a question for you before Mazi Kechuku we address you. Please um, um, yes. try and round up. So no, no, no. I, yeah, I, 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 to be honest with you, I love my, our mas. I love you, my brother Nigeria. But you know, no allow anything about Nigeria. It impedes my ears. You know, it impedes my ears. I want us to eradicate anything about Nigeria. The other come from above should not be should not be on our lips. We should use and all that terms that like we are We should we should we should talk to one another like brothers and sisters. So if all that comes from above, any other thing, any other person is saying is not there, is that, is, that is the implication. So okay. uh, uh, thank you very much. I don't want to upload this. Okay, thank you so much, my brother. Um, uh, firstly, uh, Mazik Kechuku, please permit me because you're supposed to be the one um, addressing the callers. But um, permit me to ask um, a few questions from uh, from our our caller. Um, you said uh, uh, the word order from above. He irritates you a lot. Um, yes. Does that mean you have not been listening to our leader? Do you normally listen to MNK? Why not? I listen to him. Very okay, good. good. Now, um, and um, have you ever heard him saying it is an order? And whenever he's saying it, he, he say he says it with some kind of um uh, uh, um um um. Should I should should I call it um majestically uh, uh, um way Pro that is majestically right? pronouncement? It is an order. Have you ever heard something mm -hmm. like that from a leader? I do. I do hear mass So okay. In that. And you. I do hear my, listen to me. So what listen what have changed? Right? Yes. What have changed is not is this. Mazen Namdi Obikalo never overflowed that command and control. He never overflowed it. Then, uh, how he never how... overflowed it? It's, it's, listen to me, listen to me. In place of that, our leader will even use the word discipline. You see him saying, be disciplined. You understand what I mean? So, that word, command and control, the, the way they do it, I'm using it, I'm using it wait, for wait, context. What wait, within the context? Uh, 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 my brother, um, I don't really understand what you're saying anymore because um, I believe I've not even heard about um, command and control from um, from um, um, our leader. Uh, uh, I mean, from the HOD, from the uh, DOS. But um, what I've heard him says is that um, it is an order that came from a bow. So, and um, I believe you know. Uh, wait, wait, my brother. Wait, my brother. I believe you know the above the the the, 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 the person in the above which um, the H O D the the DOS is talking about. So, um, I would like to ask you this question: What is the difference yes. when they said something? We have a structure, and um, I believe you yes. understand what structure means. When they say exactly, head, there is somebody that follows the head. Do you agree with that? Exactly. I, I, I do agree with you, my brother. But do you, do you, do, wait, wait, my brother. 
do you also agree mm. that um, the word that um, the, the person in the air used for the person that follows him, that is the same word the person that follows him will use for the person that also followed him. Do you agree with that? Well, it, it depends depending on the context. Depending on the context, I, the person is using I, the word. I, it's like you made up your mind. Um, um, you, you keep on repeating context. I, I just ask you a very simple um, question that um, should be answered with honesty. So it's like you're answering me as if you made up your mind with the answer you made for yourself. You see, uh, I just ask you. I just ask you a very simple question. I said, "Do you believe in the in the in the rules and uh, and regulation of command and control?" Which happens that yes, the I person do. on the top, when the other person on the top give order, and this thing has been going on. Even what is happening now has been happening before, before now. Yes. So I don't know no, what is no, the difference. No, no. But before I, I, no, no, we are no, not here to argue, my brother. Just hold on a minute. No, no, no. I don't I'm know, not, maybe. Wait, wait. wait, excuse me, excuse me. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not arguing with you. You understand what I mean? If somebody will tell me that Mazi Ike Chuku gave, um, gave us this order, or the DOX gave us this order, I personally, I will take it with heart. But if yeah. somebody is telling me the order comes from above, it sounds to me, you see, Nigeria. Oh, 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 oh now, now I'm people, getting your own part that wait. wait. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. For some of us in IPOB and the Afghans, anything Nigeria irritates is our ears. That is what I'm saying. It irritates me. Please you tell me that my, this order is this order is from DOX. I will take it with a good heart. But if it's not like Nigeria, the order from above, I will reject it. To be honest with you. I'm not gonna take it. My brother, I don't um, it's like you you have your own translation. Of things, I so I think. This is my own uh, and let me let me say this. Let me say this. This is your own translation. I believe you should as well adopt the majority translation because um, I myself, when they say "order from above," I understand what they mean, and I take it with happiness because I know the person who is the, who is in above that get those order. So, Mazi um, Kechuku, I don't know. Maybe you have yes, something sir. to say concerning this, please. Okay, uh, Mazi, um, yes, um, like I said, you see, this is the Biafra we want. This is the Biafra we are building. A Biafra where all men are equal before the eyes of the law. A Biafra where people should be able to express themselves. Like our brother, it's his right. It's, I mean, it's his inalienable right to tell us what he feels. Do you understand? He's a stakeholder in that Biafra. And whatever he says, trust me, I will not be angry with him. It is his right, and he must express it. He has told you he doesn't like the use of that word, command and control. That's his choice. Do you understand? Whether it is right or it is wrong, we have to debate it. At the end of the day, you know, majority carries the vote. Now, what is command and control? First of all, people don't understand why we keep on using the word command and control. IPOB is not a social club. IPOB is not my town union meeting. IPOB is military. Do you understand? In quotes, do you see, do you see my hand? IPOB is like a military because we are fighting for our what? Our freedom. So we need a strategy that works. We need a strategy that will lead us to freedom. If we do IPOB like our hands in Dibo, or a place where you raise your hand, you say your mind, and it must be done the way you want it, we will not get there. It will take us 100 years to get to Biafra. Now, what is command and control, Marcy? A command and control system is the arrangement of personnel, information, management, procedures, and equipment and facilities essential for the commander to conduct operation. The problem is we don't even understand what does command and control mean. It sounds very harsh, but it means something powerful. I'm coming, Mars. Just give me one more time again. Now, what is the purpose of command and control? What is command and control? Command and control, like I said, is the means by which a commander recognizes what needs to be done and sees to it that appropriate actions are taken. Sometimes this recognition takes the form of con conscious command decision as in deciding on concept 
of the thing. Now, Master Nam Bekari is a very intelligent man, very learned. Before he institutes a precept or a principle, he knows what he is doing. Bros, our people are thick head. Yo, our people, you know, they say we don't get king. You cannot lead our people if you want to do it democracy now. Bros, democracy will come into play when we receive Biafra. For now, is command and control. Me, Ikechuku, if you know rule me with command and control now in IPOB, tomorrow I will go put my own radio station, Brussels. Tell them I say, let me the rain now. They could have come join me. We need command and control until we get Biafra. When we get Biafra, we will have our, uh, um, we will have our, what you call, constitution. It will be freedom of expression. You will talk what you want. If I know green, we go to parliament, we vote. Do you understand? Majority do what carries the vote. But for now, command and control is the best way to go until the Afra is restored. You might be somebody on Ajite who obeys others, who listen to instruction. Me, Kechuku, I feel be person when they hear, I know when hear a word at all. Do you understand my point? So people like me need command and control for me to do what? To blend. So my brother, please, don't misunderstand it. Don't get it wrong. We're not trying to show power or autocratism or whatever the case may be. Rather, our people are had, had, had core. <laughs> our people know they hear, we know they listen. And they need somebody like Mazin Nam the Kano. And they need a very structural process, platform foundation in order for us to get Biafra. So command and control, go and Google it up. You will understand. Don't just hear the word command and control. Go and find out the meaning. It was instituted by Americans in their military. And it worked for them perfectly well. And we are soldiers. And we use command and control until their face restored. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mazi Kechuku. Thank you for joining us on Coastal Biafran TV. Coastal Biafran TV is a TV platform that, you know, that represents, or should I say, where the voice of the coastlanders in the struggle should be, or should, should I say, are coming out. So, um, of course, um, we don't know when we'll be having you again. We are still having calls, calls coming in. But um, I think um, we need to leave Mazi so that another day when we call him, you know, go to say, You way you owe me, you, you just delay me for your program that day, and not to come again. So, um, thank you very much uh, for joining us, Mazi Kechuku. I don't know, maybe you have um, any message um, yes. um, to pass to Bia France, especially the coastal region. Um, yes, Mazi. Of Bia France. Please, uh, Mazi, okay. take the mic so we can call it today. All right. Okay, Mazi. Um, some people have misunderstood the person called Mazi Kechuku because some of them thought I'm a gentleman. But I want to tell you all categorically: there is no gentleman in freedom fighting. I am not a gentleman. I am raw. I am hardcore. And I know because I did for radio because they say, "Hey, this gentleman, oh boy, I lie you." Now, let me tell you something you need to understand. Our leader said something, and that is what I'm working on. He said, we must guard this Biafra jealously. I've said this at the beginning of this program. We must guard this Biafra jealously. Anytime we me, we be Maziki to feel that this restoration effort is being threatened. Anyhow, anyway, oh boy, I go put food for ground. Anything where you want, anyhow, we go do it. But as we do it so, we must not forget to love one another. It's very, very important because we are what? We are one family. If I don't love you and you don't love me, how are we going to fight side by side if we happen to go to the uh, war front? Do you understand? So the war is not personal. The war is a common enemy and the common enemy is Fulani till tomorrow. Now then be our common enemy. I'm not fighting against an IPOB member. I'm not fighting against fellow Bia France because we are one people. Why should we fight one another? We are fighting against any enemy. So anybody will get any funny plan for your head, making kind of go put aside. We want Biafra because people have died. Now, coming to the um, coastal region, uh, people don't understand what the coastal region they go through. You guys who have identified yourself as IPOB. 
I'm sure most of your people back there are laughing at you and saying you're born at a crease. What am I saying that they do so? Do you understand? I know they are saying that to you. I've been like, you people, you want to follow. Oh boy, shine your eye, you this way they go. No, man, they see, our, people, our, our people are really, you know, you mentioned something about fear. You mentioned something about fear. A lot of our people, they are into this struggle. They are into this yeah. struggle. So, um, and uh, um, uh, even be, uh, uh, before now, before now, even after our leader uh, has been arrested, our people are still uh, 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 coming into the family. But the problem that some of them have is that they are afraid. And especially our traditional rulers, our, our, the head of communities. So some of them, they will say, okay, let it be with me and you. I will tell you the, the, the youth leader, tell him so so thing. So let it be within you and the youth leader. Tell him to organize the youth. And the, we, we, they are really following up for them to come out in open. And that is the challenges we are having in so many places in our in our area. Of course, they are into this. Remember what I told you before when I was trying to describe uh, the coastal region of 69 and the coastal region of today. I told you that the coastal region of 69, they're acting on scripts. What is that script they're acting on? They don't want them to be identified as Biafra because they believe that if you say you are Biafra, then you automatically you are Igbo. That is the thing. They say that word, Igbo. They don't want to be associated with it because of what uh, has happened in the past, which they are, maybe their fathers don't want to really come out and tell them the truth, how it happened. Do you understand? That's why once you say to somebody, Ha, are you Igbo? No, I'm not Igbo. You will be quick to refute that name. Do you understand? As if there is something wrong with being Igbos. So this is what they are afraid of. They are not afraid of maybe uh, coming to agitate for Biafra. They don't want to be identified. Do you understand my point? That is the thing. But what? We must continue. It took our leader many years before he was able to convince people like you on Ajite and other coastal region people to do what? To subscribe to this restoration effort. So you guys that have now understood what we are doing, it is left for you to go back to your location, to go back to where you come from and preach the same good news to your people because you now know better. If there's anybody who will convince people from the coastal region, on Ajite is you, it's not me. They won't even listen to me because they won't understand. But you, you know them better. You know the language. You know how to talk to them. That's why I give it to Mazen Nam the Kano. I don't know how he did it. I don't know how he was able to convince. You, you know, we think say Igbo people now um, they get strong head. Oh boy, coastal region now was. It is say you go talk to a person from Wari, just like that. Oh boy, if you put granite for your body self, do you understand my point? It's not easy to convince. And, 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 and there is this other thing. There is this other thing, uh, other challenge that we face with our people. Um, I believe that Mazi, Mazi Namdekan himself have had meetings with some of our people concerning this very struggle. But they said to him, ah, Oga, they were even telling him, Oga, you are speaking English. In the meeting, he was just laughing. He was just laughing. They said, you are speaking English. We will not say all this English. If we not do and make it end once and for all, we not do into all this protocol, protocol, protocol. And um, we understand that our people are having these kind of challenges. And um, I believe um, with the with the help of Oputamono and the lecture that um, we are also, uh, the, the, the Radio Biafra are also impacting on our people. I think there are changes in the, in, in the coastal region. And I can also tell you this, Mazi Ketchuku, that um, very soon, concerning the the, the 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 arrest of our leader, very soon, Biafras will hear good news from the coastal region. And, 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 and again, again, in addition, in addition, before I go, Mazi, now you see, you know, before they used to say, oh boy, leave these people, they want your oil, they want this, they want that. But thank God, thank God, say, if we get Biafra today, a job could be a nation on its own. How one could take your oil now? Hope you get a uh, John Nation. What you concern me? Urubo, go be a nation. I don't even understand what I'm saying. With such an arrangement, I don't see any reason why you should listen to anybody. With such an arrangement, me and you will wait there for Anambra. Anambra and the general go share their oil. He will stay at Urubo. No go share their oil unless they are doing a business deal or oil business deal. Do you understand? 
So whatever you have belongs to you. I mean, it has divided itself, oh boy. Not be say we say maybe we get Biafra, then we sit up for table, begin to divide. No. You get Biafra, you job, carry go. Urobo, carry go. Now one nation when I go be. We are all Biafra. So I think the earlier people understand that, I think it will be more easier for them. And let me tell you one thing. You see, anybody that is so difficult to convince, once they agree, hey, hey, but no, if you catch them again, they go be hardcore, the hardest core. That's what you need to understand. It's like a native doctor now, nah, we become a born again. <laughs> Before you know, I'm saying you don't become pastor. Before you know, you don't become bishop. Because the zeal is different from somebody who just easily convicts. So um, on this note, I want to say thank you, Mazi, for hosting me. And thank you, Pierre France. We are together. We are fighting for one just cause. Our priority at this moment, our priority is to set our leader, Mazi Namde Kano, free. And there is one thing we all have in common. We don't need to love each other. We don't need to kiss. But we need to remember there is something that unites us, and that thing is Biafra. Thank you very much, Mazi. And good night from here. Thank you so much, Mazi Kechuku. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Of course, um, fellow Biafrans, lovers of freedom, we will be coming here live and direct by this time next week Sunday. Of course, you know, as we they do arm. Um, so, um, as the program is coming to an end, you can as well share, share, and share. And um, share to the doors of our enemy. Let them feel the heat. Let them understand that uh, this family is unbreakable. This family is loyal. The loyalty of this family remains to Mazen and the Kano. And um, the leadership is in charge of this very boat as we are moving till our leader is released and till we all are free as a people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye for now. <laughs>